Hey guys, this is James. I'm going to show you how to set up tax inclusive for your items and cash footprint. Let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. So let's get into this. We are going to set up sales tax that is inclusive of the price of the items being sold. I know that's a mouthful. So basically, when you sell an item, you can sell it for 10 bucks and the tax is included in the 10 bucks. Okay, typically right out of the box, Cash Footprint will put the tax on top of the sales price. So if you have a $10 item and let's say it's a 10% tax, it's gonna be an extra dollar. Okay, so with this, it would basically put that tax into the price of the item. So when you sell it, it's 10 bucks and the tax is you know, 90 cents or whatever. And then the item itself is like 10 something. So I'll show you how to do that. Here we go. So first thing you wanna do is check your sales tax. Um, the tax itself by default is sales tax group. And within that, there are two taxes and these will show up on your receipt. So if you wanted to have just one tax there, that's fine. You can remove the one that you don't want. Um, but then double click and you will see that there is a tax is inclusive option. That means that if you check that, that in this example, the 4% would be included in the price of the item. Okay, and my other tax here is 6.252. So a total of 10.252 tax or percent would be tax that's included in the item being sold. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So if these are not checked, this option here for tax is inclusive, just check that box if this is something that you wanna do. So you'll check that box and hit save. That will make it tax inclusive. If it's not checked, the tax is applied on top of the item being sold. Okay, that's all there is to it. Super simple, just that text box or that check box. This is where you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. That way you're notified when I release new videos. Let's get back to it. So let's go ahead and sell this item. And you can see there is a $10 item and I had the taxes inclusive. So it's a 93 cents. My tax is 10.252. So it's not exactly $1. Um, if I were to do it on top of. So it's a little different, but uh, same same principle. So it's 10 bucks is the final price. And then if I do two or three or four or whatever, 500, it's still gonna be $10 per item and the price will reflect that. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like without that. So I'm gonna avoid this receipt, go back to my tax and show you what it looks like by default. There's my son Samuel in the background. What are you doing, bud? Okay, so there's that. Now I'm gonna do uh, sell this item three, two, one. And now you can see the price is $10 and the tax is applied on top of that. So it's 1103. So that's the difference. One has the tax included on top of the price of the item and the other has the, pri or the, the price and the tax is included in the price. So um, if you're in a situation where you know, you're a small store and you're selling things, you know, it's a dollar for this item, a dollar for that item. When you put them together, you want it to be $2 versus $2.01 or $2.03, whatever. This is the way you could go about it. You could price your items to have the tax included in the price of the item being sold. That way, it's a flat dollar amount for the customer. It just makes it easier for them. Um, and then when you go to run your sales tax report, this is all reflected there because what it's doing behind the scene is is actually reducing the price of the item being sold, adding the tax onto it, so it comes out to that even dollar amount. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, put those in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. That'll help me out quite a bit on the channel. So we'll talk to you soon and have a great day. Oh,